I decided to start vlogging today, and what a great day to start, because I'm late to school. I cannot start my day without one of these. Got my shit, my water, good to go. Let's do it! So, bros? That's actually how I wanted to start this video. However, I woke up for school late. I was flustered, I was rushed, and I completely forgot that that is the new way I want to start all my videos and address you guys. Mainly because you guys are the bros. The way that came about, actually, was I was kicking it on one of the breaks in between my classes with my friend DeJore, and he showed me this video of these white dudes saying, Sa dudes, sa dudes, sa dudes. And it had me dying of laughter because that's actually how I address my friends. Usually, if I see a bro, I'll be like, Hey, what's up, bro? And I'm just super lazy with my greetings. So, that is now how I'm going to address you guys because you guys are my freaking bros. So, if that's how I address my bros, then it's only right that I address you guys as such. Talking about gang violence. Gangs. Alright guys, moment of truth. I was late to class. We have to see if Miss Fox is gonna flunk me. What are you doing? Are you oh. gonna flunk me? Are you making a movie? I'm doing a vlog oh, for my are? channel. Yeah, I have like a YouTube channel. Are you gonna flunk me for being late? I'm not gonna flunk you for being late. Alright guys, it's official. She's not gonna flunk me for being late. Alright guys, I just linked up with Antonio and Trevor. And uh, we were in the cafeteria. It was me and Antonio. Trevor was actually hiding in a wall in the corner. And he calls Antonio. And Antonio looks at it and says, Nah, fuck this. Yep. Disrespectful. <laughs> this guy just stays whispering in the library. He's literally the entire time just doing what he does. <laughs> Hair battle. You know, huh? I give a fuck them, bro. That's like twerking for niggas. I'm cool. You see this girl's boyfriend right here? This girl's boyfriend is smaller than Trevor. Just so everyone knows, just so YouTube knows, she actually said it herself. Her boyfriend is smaller, weaker, slower, and everything else worse than Trevor. She could be eating the weirdest shit, bro. Like, literally, she be eating the weirdest stuff. This is jicama. It tastes like an onion and an apple. Like, yo, try this shit. Food critic, try this shit. Eat that shit. Oh, like eat apple, it, eat it. it. No, I'm cool here. Bro, don't be a bitch. Eat it. Eat it, bro. Eat it, bro. You gotta actually eat it. You have to eat it. Tastes like uh, bitter ass camel toe. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Why, why eat she eats the weirdest is snacks. There, is there some health benefits to this or something? Like she eats the weirdest <laughs> foods. <laughs> Antonio, you gonna try it? What is he doing? Why is Antonio trying to pinch her kneecaps? Let the YouTuber see. Let the YouTuber see. Okay, my knee's not that sensitive. <laughs> With ticklish knees like that, you should never have exposed kneecaps. Never. <laughs> All right, I'm just going back to the normal dab, guys, because the fan slap hurt my hand too much. I'm not, I got sensitive little soft baby hands. Yeah, and the girls love the soft hands, so I'm not trying to ruin it, you know? Remember that shit? <laughs> Alright, I am done with school for the day. I was visiting with some of the homies and uh, I'm probably gonna go pick up some Taco Bell and uh, then I'm gonna have to go to the thrift store because I have to pick up some stuff that hopefully they still have in stock. Cameron doesn't know how to send pictures of shit when he thinks that I might want something. So he just told me after he already left. Sadly, I really did want it so I have to drive all the way to freaking Auburn now and go pick it up. Time to get up, rise and shine, give God the glory, glory. Fun fact, my mom used to sing that to me when I was a young little lad. But anyway, it's time to get up, figure out the PEMDAS of the morning, figure out the order of operations I need to accomplish before I go to work. Um, yeah, let's fucking get into it. By the way, I know you see me finessing with the floral bed sheets. These things are dope as fuck. Way back when I was younger, I feel like my it's getting stronger And I can't seem to figure why you wonder about numbers When none of that matters Hey guys, this is Eric, my boss. If you guys notice, his Mercedes is illegally parked because he always does that. But yeah, he's just whipping up in the Benzo. No big deal, just flexing on me. You know, and he's flexing on me with the Rick Owens. He's not wearing the Fear of God tank though. That's weird. He always wears the Fear of God tank. But yeah. Anyways, YouTube, meet Eric. Yep. What? What? This is a vlog, bro. Oh, you got the bag. I'm not a YouTuber. Look at it, flexed out. Yo, these opal apples are life. So good. I don't think I've showed you guys where I work yet, but I work at a state in Seattle right now. It's just temporary because they need some help. Yeah, we'll see if it ends up being a permanent thing. I love working here. It's pretty dope. I have to show you guys the shop because the shop is so dope. That right there is the plant wall. 
up there is the office. Then you got tons of dope brands. If you guys are ever into the Seattle area, definitely come check out Estate by Pike Place. Another little plant wall. Check this out. Look at the secret door though. This is a secret door that goes to the dressing room. You open this up all the way. It's a heavy ass door because these are all real plants. But yeah, that goes into the dressing room. We got a lot of dope stuff though. I definitely recommend coming and check out the shop. Even if you don't purchase anything, it's really cool to check out. And if I continue working here, which you guys will know based off my Instagram, then you guys can come visit me and say what's up. Downtown Seattle. I'm gonna finish my Apple and set up. Bye. Damn it, I forgot to show you guys the burger. I always get so excited to eat that I forget to record what I am eating and show you guys what I'm snacking on. But if you guys don't know, Veggie Grill is an amazing place to go. Everything there is vegan and their fries are so freaking bomb. All right guys, we close up shop. You guys met my other boss, but you did not meet my second boss, Dave. Show him the fucking coat that you got on. Look at this fucking heater right here. And let me show you guys. I already showed you guys how my first boss flexes on me. Watch how my second boss flexes on me with the Benzo. They both just flexing on me with the Benzo. You know, I'm gonna get there someday because right now I'm whipping the Honda Insight. But yeah, they just flexing on me. All right, guys. So I was just in bed, right? Dead asleep because I have to wake up super early in the morning. I gotta wake up at like 6.30 in the morning to drive all the way down to Portland tomorrow morning. A few moments later. Oh my god, yo. I'm so tired. These motherfuckers wake me up at 3.30 to come kick it, bro. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> What up? I'm really scared right now, bro. The operas are everywhere. You can see him to my left. My Johnny was like, Johnny was like, yo, why is he, why is he, he was about to say, why is he still there? <laughs> but it's because it's a red light, bro. <laughs> What's <laughs> uh, bros? So, uh, the bros just left. Um, they brought some people over. We were just kicking it, chilling. It's literally fucking 518 right now. Look at this shit, guys. Let me show you guys. Uh, fucking turn on. Oh, shit. You guys kind of saw like a little glimpse. I don't want to fucking sit here and mess around my settings too much. I am tired as fuck. I literally got like no sleep, especially since Johnny and Antonio woke my ass up and came over at like 3.30 in the morning. All right, I am in Southern Washington, almost to my destination. I'm about to meet up with this girl, then we're gonna go see Panther Creek Falls. I'm on the phone with Mr. Paul Can too. But yeah, I'm about to go into Ross and uh, see if I can't find this reflective Nike windbreaker that has been so elusive and evading me, but I keep having subscribers let me know like hey man I just found this really dope reflective Nike windbreaker at Ross it's all 3M this is so dope and they send me pictures and it's really cool and I can never find it it's really sad so I'm gonna get in and hopefully I find it all right well once again the uh, reflective Nike jacket evaded me so I left the Ross now I'm gonna head into Goodwill while I wait that's why you always want to meet at thrift stores so that way you can thrift while you wait if you get there early and I'm actually late but she's later so hey all right you two we are headed to Panther Creek Falls I just picked up low her car is actually about to blow up and uh, <laughs> we just did some mechanic shit no big deal I don't know if you see this little bit of grease on my fingers. I was swapping out catalytic converter aisle wire plug shit. I'm just kidding. I don't know nothing about cars. But um, so yeah, we fixed that shit. On to Panther Creek Falls. Hopefully her car starts when we get back so she can make it back to the while up. Amazing. Look at that laugh though. <laughs> Look at that laugh. Shh. <laughs> You're not, you can shake it off. Lo is currently trying to get across the log. Check this shit out guys. This is so fucking beautiful. I don't know if you guys can hear me very well, but that's Panther Creek Falls in Washington. Definitely come check this shit out sometime. Seriously guys, look at this shit. This is so freaking beautiful. Oh my God. Get out and explore nature, man. This shit is dope as fuck. I was just on top of that thing. If you guys wanna see some pictures of me on top of that, go follow me on fucking Instagram. I'm kind of sad because I don't think I recorded anything from Multnomah Falls. She's twerking in the street. I know I didn't record anything at the Vista house that we went to, so I completely spaced. Obviously, I'm new to the vlog thing. But yeah, we are in Portland now. I'm at the Adidas store. I'm going to hopefully find some deals on the uh, gray primal knits or some uh, Ultra Boost. Hey, guys, what's up? It's Jacob Starr here with me tonight is my awesome friend Lo, and I just got some awesome stuff from the Adidas store, so rock on, fellas. Good night. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah and New Year.
And we just pulled up to Voodoo Donuts. I have actually never had Voodoo Donuts, which is pretty crazy since I'm from the Northwest and I'm not too far. But, you know, we got the Keep Portland Weird famous little mural thing over there. I'm gonna get some uh, vegan donuts because I heard that they have those here. And your life is so sad And you can't fight for your life So you hold on to the past But I move on so fast Hey, shout out to my cousin for the braids though. Thank you so much, Jordan. These braids are a little bit different than the last ones, as you guys can obviously tell. I got the four rows in. Anyways, I just want to take a quick second to let you guys know if you want to see more of this content, let me know by hitting the like button below. Basically, if these videos keep getting love and these keep getting supported, then I will keep dropping them. If they don't, then I'll probably just go back to what I was doing, which is basically where I release a vlog like every year or two when I randomly do something dope. So I think my last one was either the trip to Dubai or I might have done one when I went to LA. And even then those aren't really vlogs as much as they are just a bunch of dope visuals from the trip. Oh and I'll leave links to both of those at the end of this video. But anyways I just wanted to let you guys know if you want to see more content like this, you want to see more vlogs like this, you guys want to see more of my personal life, then I will gladly film it and I will gladly post more of these. So let me know by hitting the like button below and just showing love in the comments or showing hate in the comments. I really don't give a fuck what you do. But whatever you do will determine whether I make more of these. So it is up to you. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And as always, keep living. Skrr! Hold up. I also need to give credit where credit is due. Go check out Rax Life, who is basically the individual that actually inspired me to start vlogging. I think his vlogs are really dope. I think he takes a lot of time to do all the color grading, the transitions, and just all of his edits in general are really well put together. I've had way too many people copy my shit or pull inspiration from my shit and not shout me out or even show love for me to actually do the same to an individual. So I need to shout him out and it's not just the static transitions because obviously I've used static transitions in lookbooks in the past but it's more or less the way that he puts everything together I hope to at some point be able to take the time to do that his stuff is really dope and I have the know-how in terms of the editing but even like the way that he shoots everything and the way that he chops it up and edits it is something that takes practice and it takes time to do and it's not as easy as it looks so I definitely appreciate all the work that he puts into his videos I just need to shout him out so if you guys want to watch another vlogger go Check him out. I'm gonna leave a link to his channel in the description below. So now, keep living the star life. Mission for the land of milk and honey, sort of funny how to see change. But new roads bring new scars. We duck it, dodge it out of hoopla. Push it to the limit, going too far. That's what it takes to live the star life with two R's. Now they telling me that life is a lonely road.